Hi guys, so this is the continuation. Working with text boxes. You may want to insert a text box into your document to draw attention to specific text or to give you the ability to easily move text around within a document. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert a text box and format it in various ways, including resizing and moving it and changing the text box shape, color, and outline. To insert a text box, select the Insert tab on the ribbon, click the text box command in the text group, select a built-in text box or draw text box from the menu. If you select built-in text box, left click the text box you want to use, and it will appear in the document. Or, if you select draw text box, a crosshair cursor will appear. Left click your mouse and while holding it down, drag your mouse until the text box is the desired size. Release the mouse button. To change text box style, select the text box and new format tab appears with text box tools. Select the format tab, click the more drop down arrow in the text box style group to display more style options. Move your cursor over the styles and live preview will preview the style in your document. Left click a style to select it. To change shape fill. Select the text box, a new format tab appears with the text box tools. Click the shape fill command to display a drop down list. Select a color from the list, choose no fill or choose one of the other options. To change the shape outline, select the text box, a new format tab appears with text box tools. Click the shape outline command to display a drop down list. Select the color from the list, choose no outline or choose one of the other options. To change the text box shape, select the text box and new format tab appears with text box tools. Click the change shape command to display a drop down list. Select the shape from the list. To move a text box, left click the text box, your cursor becomes a cross with arrows on each end. While holding the mouse button, drag the text box to the desired location on the page. Release the mouse button. To resize a text box, select the text box, left click one of the blue sizing handles, while holding down the mouse button, drag the sizing handle until the text box is the desired size. If you drag the blue sizing handles on any of the four corners, the text box will resize in the same proportions. The sizing handles on the top or bottom of the text box will allow you to resize vertically, while the handles on the left and right sides will resize the text box horizontally. Inserting clip art. You may want to insert various types of illustrations into your documents to make them more visually appealing. Illustrations include clip art, pictures, smart art, and charts. In this lesson, you will learn how to search for and locate clip art and insert it into your documents. To locate clip art, select the insert tab, click the clip art command in the illustrations group. The clip art options appear in the task, task pane on the right. Enter keywords in the search for field that is related to the image you want to insert. Click the drop-down arrow next to the search in field. Select everywhere to ensure word searches your computer and its online resources for an image that meets your criteria. Click the drop-down arrow in the results should be filled. To select any types of images you, don't not, you do not want to see, click Go. To insert clip art, review the results from a clip art search. Place your insertion point in the document where you want to insert clip art. Left click an image in the task pane, it will appear in the document. Or left click the, ar the arrow next to an image in the task pane. Select insert, copy or any of the other options on the list. Working with shapes. You can add a variety of shapes to your document including arrows, callouts, squares, stars, and fl flow chart symbols. Want to offset your name and address from the rest of your resume? Use a line. Need to show the progress of a document through your office? Use a flow chart. While you may not need shapes in every document you create, they can add visual appeal and clarity to many documents. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert a shape and format it by changing its fill color, outline color, shape, style, and shadow effects. Additionally, you will learn to apply 3D effects to shapes that have this option. To insert a shape. 
So, yun lang for today guys. Bye!